how do you get kids into personal development? Because again, if you think about all the stuff that Jim Rohn teaches us and everything we expose ourselves to, you think, gosh, if, if, and some people only find that, you know, clients only just find that kind of stuff like now when they're grown, mature adults. And think, well, the, the quicker that the kids can get this into their heads, the better. So what, what's been your... Well, I can tell you how I can tell you how not to uh, I can tell you how not to do it. I mean, one of the things you definitely don't do in our house is go. Oh, you know, I was reading a book yesterday, and, it, and in it there was something really interesting. Uh, would you like me to share it with you? Because the answer inevitably is no. Um, yeah. how, so I mean. I don't know. How do you do it at your place? How do you how do you get them interested in these sort of things? Well, what's interesting there is again, like like you, I've got two, and uh, one is much more open to this than the other. So 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 my boy Finley is a fourteen year old, and and he just likes to play football. He's a real high D, just wants to win. You know, he that his focus is just on that, and he's just got a bit of a, a one track mind on just winning. Freya is uh, she's the diver, and she's exposed to lots of coaching from a, a high level as well. You know, Olympic co- Olympic divers are coaching them, so she, she's getting an awful lot more, I think, structure to goal setting and you know discipline and focus, uh, and 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 she's probably you know in style wise probably more similar to me. So she she actually listens to me, kind of. That's yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's I remember reading the Mark Twain quote, quote. I think it was something along the lines of, you know, when I was 15, my father was the most ignorant man. By the time I was 21, I was staggered at how much he'd learned. It's like, you know, it was uh, all about the perspective of the child changing yes. over that period. Uh, I think fortunately at my end, they, they, have a, a, they have a healthy respect for personal development because they see so much of it going on yeah. around them. I think for the for kids, it's trying to you know give them evidence, tangible you know tangible results, simple things, things that you know just by asking a different question gives them a slightly different perspective. And and there's uh, the thing I love most is when I do ask probably the simplest of questions, you just see the penny drop. It's like you know, and you mentioned about the high level coaching. There's a really interesting um, angle to that I feel, um, which is about the type of environments that children find themselves in, just how much those environments stretch them. Yeah. And are, are your children getting an opportunity to mix with those five or six key people? You know, mm. if you took the average of those five or six key people, just how good is that one, in, you know, that, that, yeah. that average person in that group? Uh, yeah. And so I'm, I'm always encouraging them to stretch themselves, put them into, you know, into situations which are uncomfortable. Yeah. I, not, I don't mean, you know, purposely punishment wise uncomfortable i'm just mean put them in situations that are uncomfortable so the one that loves performing yeah uh, my oldest daughter she she recognized fairly soon that uh, um, that if she just stayed in benfleet where we live and only went to the theater group in benfleet yeah uh, while she would learn things she was almost at the limit of her development there she recognized that she needed to actually push herself and put herself into another room where she was nothing like the smartest person. And, and that's what she did. And then she recognised that she was uh, in the lower rungs of the capability in the new group that she was in, because it was central London. It was, you know, a really top end theatre production company. And, and because of that, she started learning. She wanted to learn more. She wanted to be coached by someone on her acting. She recognised that was something that she needed to improve. So I like to think that, we ask questions that allow them to find their own way. Sometimes we will give them absolute guidance. So I, I'm really big on helping them make their own decisions. So they don't have to depend on lots of people to make choices when they're older. That's always been a big, that's always been a big thing of mine because my parents were really big on that with me. 